This is an audio test. What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. So today we're going to do something a little bit more different. So you might notice that my video quality is a little bit different than what it usually is. And that's because I am shooting on my Canon 6D today, not the GH5. The GH5 is sitting right over there. So the reason I'm doing this is just because I want to experiment a little bit because I'm planning to switch over to the Canon 1DX Mark II within the next two months and I'm trying to really invest into that right now So I'm really hoping to be able to get that because the 1DX is gonna open so many new opportunities to me because I don't have to carry around two cameras Anyways, so in today's video, we're gonna be covering three different things So there's a new social media platform out there in the world called Vero. That's one thing. And we're also going to be doing a little bit of unboxing. I have two packages, one and then just one huge one over here. And then the third one, I want to talk about some channel updates, some things that are going to start happening in the next few months, few weeks, in the next, in the future, near future. So anyways, <sighs> cue the intro sequence. All right, so what is Vero? Vero is a new social media platform. Well, it's been around for like three years, but apparently all of a sudden it's getting this really big boom out of nowhere, just a really big upscale and engagement. So all these people are starting to switch over to Vero. What exactly is Vero? So Vero, I see it as a platform that pretty much combines all other platforms. So like Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Flickr, Apple Music, you can link your Apple Music to Vero. And it's kind of like a platform that everyone's jumping to for some reason, I don't know why. It just It's like a sudden boom, it's like Bitcoin. All of a sudden people just start moving in towards it, but it's been around for a pretty long time. Even though three years is fairly new, everybody's kind of just jumping right into it. In my opinion, Vero is, it has potential, but it has to be done right. Now, I used it for nearly a week and the stability was really bad. The issues with the network were terrible. And you know, it's just something that's like make or break and if the network doesn't work, like if you're trying to post and it's like, oh, you can't post and you keep trying throughout the day and it's constantly like, sorry, the servers are down, servers aren't working and then you see your friend go on and everything is fine. It's kind of like, oh, what the, okay. So, you know, that was really annoying. And another thing is that it doesn't have handles like tags like at this at that so to find someone you have to search their name through billions and millions and thousands of other users that may have the same exact name as you so it's really hard to find a specific person so those are two things that they need to work on but then also there's rumors going around and there's facts that the owner the CEO co-founder of Vero is a really bad businessman he abandons his companies he leaves his companies and they're planning to charge users an annual fee to use Vero so that's one thing that they should not have done because with Instagram's new changes and all these algorithm changes people are looking for somewhere else to go because Instagram's really like hurting these smaller content creators and whatnot so these content creators are kind of like in this weird position where they don't have much to do so, Instagram messed up. Vero had the potential to steal Instagram's, all their users, but they're doing it wrong, so Instagram still wins in this situation. Yeah, Instagram's been really annoying lately. All in all, I don't think Vero's worth it. I don't think you guys should be making it Vero because Vero's kind of weird. It's, a, it's, it's, it's like a really weird situation right now. So yeah, Vero is kind of not the move. I downloaded it, I used it for like a week. It's not really that great. So I'm probably gonna uninstall it. If anything, I'm just gonna post some random links on there, throw some hashtags, and hopefully get some engagement and traction to my Instagram. So I'm gonna try doing that. Let's see how that works out. On to topic two, let's do this little unboxing. So I'm gonna, the first is this Amazon package. So just gonna, you know, start off, start off small, start off small. Power Extra, Power Extra batteries. So I have a lot of Power Extra batteries. Usually, probably all of my third party batteries are either Power Extra or those Wasabi ones. But the Wasabi ones, have, lately they've been dying really quick on me. Like I have third party GH5 batteries and they're dying pretty quick on me now actually. So I got these Power Extra ones and I have them for my field monitor, my small HD monitor. 
and it works pretty well so I really like the way they have there so power extra is a great third-party battery if you guys want to check it out I'll link it in the description below on Amazon so be sure to check that out in the description that probably wasn't a good idea but you know camera gear is never complete without those little microfiber cloths next package so this next package is actually from a company out in LA their name is I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't want to butcher their name, but I'm going to say it's Quasar Science. Quas Quasar? Quasar? I don't know how to say it. I've seen a lot of videos on their stuff, their work. I've seen images on Instagram and see how they work really well together with film. I was really interested, so I sent out an email. I asked them, hey, you guys want to send me some of your stuff? I can do a quick video. I can do some reviews on it. You know, unboxing video or something. So they sent me a little demo light kit. I, must, I emailed them like a month ago, and they finally sent me one. We're going to unbox this. So they got a, little, a lot of little peanuts in here, you know, like these peanuts. They sent me a shirt. That's really cool. I've never had anybody send me like a, a shirt, like a film company, and a sticker. So this is their logo. This this is a really cool sticker. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I'm not gonna put it in my car. Ooh, they gave me oh they gave me multiple stickers. So yeah, they sent they sent me a little shirt with their logo on it, front, and then the logo on the back. I'm gonna use this as a thumbnail. Gonna, hold up. All right, let's see what they got. So here we have the receipt. Okay, whatever. So they sent me an LED lamp. Checking the box if there's anything else just to see ahead of time. Nope, that's it. Send me an LED lamp. Let's see how it works. Let's check it out. We're gonna open the box. You know, just casually open the box. Instructions. Press button once to turn on. Press again to dim. Each button press dims the volume, dims the next lower level. Press and hold to change between Kelvin levels. So you can change the white balance. Cool. So they sent me this small, oh my god, I accidentally pressed the button. That's really bright. That's really cool. This is actually, a, this is a pretty good light. I could use this as a really good light source for videos. I planned it, I planned to use this for music videos. So I've seen a lot of people use it for like videos and other types of stuff using smoke and everything. Oh, I just, you can change it to white light. Oh, you can change it between 3,000 and 5,000 Kelvin. You only get two options. That's whatever. Either way, it's still really good. Oh, and it works as a magnet. They have magnets on here so you can like throw it on your fridge or something. I just, this is a really cool light though. It's pretty small right now. Like, here's the comparison size of my head. It's like one and a half of my head. It's pretty useful. If you guys want to check out their stuff, go to the description and I will link this stuff to you. I will link their website to you guys. And it comes with this charger right here and with the, it's, it's a USB cable. You know, I have like a ton of these USB cables, but whatever. So yeah, thanks so much to Quasar Science, if that's how you pronounce it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna change into the shirt right now. <sighs> okay, thanks so much to Quasar Science for the light. And I will definitely be using this in the next few videos, seeing how it work turns out. So you guys can definitely stay tuned for that and see how it goes. And I'm gonna turn it off. So the last thing I wanted to talk about was my channel and where I'm planning to take this. So I told you guys within the next few months, the next two months I'm hoping, to grab a 1DX Mark II. The reason for that being is so that I don't have to carry around two cameras wrapped around my neck everywhere I go to take photos and take videos because I'm sure a lot of you struggle with this where it's like, do I want to take photos and do I want to take video? Which one do I want to do more? Because I want to do both, but it's kind of hard because my video camera doesn't take good pictures and my picture camera doesn't take good video. And that's kind of the problem I have with this camera, the 6D. The videos on it aren't good. Compared to standards now, the photos are the best part about my 6D. You can make it live up to the standard, but you know, it's just a lot harder. And I hate carrying around two cameras. I hate the quality of the photos from the GH5. And I don't really like the video options with the 6D. You don't get 60 frames per second. You don't get any of this. 1080 is as far as it goes. And 1080 isn't exactly the problem, but the main problem I don't vlog with my 6D is because there's no continuous focus during video which is also annoying to vlog on with the GH5. I don't get that autofocus continuously, which for a vlogger is kind of annoying because you don't want to keep having to focus over and over. And that's what I've been doing and it's irritating. So that is my first step. With that being said, and me already talking about vlogging, it's clear that I do want to vlog. So 
I do two videos a week. I kind of wanted to do three, maybe even four. I want to upload vlog. I want to start vlogging, so when I grab that 1DX Mark II, I'm going to vlog 100%. And, I don't know, I just wanted to incorporate more videos. I wanted to show off my work, like my client work, all my production videos. I wanted to show more of that. So I was thinking of including those into a vlog, but I'm not completely sure how to do this. Maybe I could just upload the client video by itself and see where it goes from there, you know? But then that's kind of random, so I kind of wanted to throw like an informational segment and then show you the guys the client work and then close out the video that way. But I'm not 100% how to do this, so I'm really considering all this right now and I'm going to New York this weekend and I just... Things were really just jumbled up and I don't... What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you guys want to see more of. Tell me what you guys want to really like... What do you think I should do? I know I want to start vlogging. I know I still want to start educating. Do you guys care if I mess with the schedule a little bit? Do you guys care if I cut half of the tutorials off and then keep them, you know, like tutorials one day a week, vlogs, and then... I don't know, guys. Just let me know what you guys want to see more of. Let me see what I can do. Drop a comment below. So I guess that's it. You guys hit that like button, share this video, and smash that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. And maybe I will do some more of these sit down and talk videos on my Canon because I'm liking the way it's coming out, I'm liking the look, I'm liking the colors. I've always loved Canon color. That's why I really want to move away from the GH5. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one.